So you might have heard of these two payment gateways, Paystack and Flutterwave. But when it comes to deciding between these two payment gateway giants in Africa, it might be a bit confusing. So in this video, I'm going to give you the disadvantages and advantages of these two payment gateways and this will help you decide the best solution to integrate with your website or for your business. So without wasting time, let's dive into the video. But before we go ahead to look at their key features, let's get a little background about these payment gateways. Let's talk about Paystack. Now Paystack is a Nigerian financial technology company that was established in 2015. So Paystack was founded by Shola Akimlade and Ezra Olubi who met in a university. They later went on to work in the banking and IT sector and decided to found Paystack back in November 2015. The company extended to Ghana in 2018 south africa in 2021 and recently in kenya in 2023 now as of 2021 paystack had over 60,000 businesses using their platform to collect payments from their clients in nigeria and ghana now this became the go-to payment gateway for local and international businesses who were looking to enter the african market so you have companies such as mtn silverbed cinemas boat lagos internal revenue service all using paystack to collect payments from their customers. Now let's move on to Flutterwave. Now Flutterwave was founded back in 2016 by these guys you see on your screens. Now the company is headquartered in San Francisco, California with operations in countries such as Nigeria, Kenya, Uganda, Ghana, South Africa and seven other African countries. Now Flutterwave is used by businesses such as Uber, Booking.com and Flyerwire to collect payments in the African continent. Now as at now, Flutterwave has over 900,000 businesses across the world that process their payments using their platform and also collect payments in over 150 different currencies. Now that we know a little bit about the beginnings and the founders of these two payment gateways, let's dive into the ring and see how these two payment gateways match up. We'll look at these two payment gateways in terms of ease of access, market reach, currency support, and then fees. Now when it comes to ease of use, Paystack is widely known for its user-friendly interface. Now, if you want to integrate Paystack with your website, it's very, very easy to do. Even if you don't have any programming background or you don't know how to code, you can still go to Paystack, create an account and easily integrate it with your website or with your platform. Now, if you are wondering how you can integrate Paystack with your website or online store, I have a video up here which takes you through a step-by-step -step guide as to how you can do this. So you can actually check out that video up here. Now, when it comes to the ease of use of Flutterwave, Flutterwave actually offers a more customizable option. So if you want to actually customize your interface to match up with your brand, Flutterwave actually gives you that option, which Paystack does not. So with that being said, if you want to customize your interface to match your brand experience, then you will need a developer or someone with a coding or programming background to help you integrate or customize your interface to suit your brand when using Flutterwave. The second thing I'd like to talk about is their market reach. Now Paystack supports a wide range of local payments methods. So whether you are accepting mobile money or any other local payment method, then Paystack will be a good option for you. Now if your clients are within the African market, then you can use Paystack as an option. However, if you are looking to reach markets that are beyond the African continent, then Flutterwave will be the best option because Flutterwave supports payments across Africa and beyond, making it a global contender when it comes to picking a payment gateway for your business. Now, how do these two compare when it comes to currency support? Now, as I said earlier, Paystack supports quite a number of currencies in Africa. It supports currencies in Ghana, Kenya, Nigeria, and South Africa. It also supports currencies in USD as well. Now, Flutterwave has a competitive advantage when it comes to currency support because it can handle multiple currencies, making international transactions a breeze on your platform. So Flutterwave takes the lead in its multi-currency capabilities when it comes to currency support. Now, the last area where we want to compare this to is their charges or their fees. Now, when it comes to their fees, Paystack has a very transparent and competitive pricing. They allow you to set up an account with them for free and they only charge you when you make money on your website. That is the transaction fees. Now, Flutterwave fees or pricing is also competitive. The difference is that Flutterwave offers you different plans within which you can choose from. Now, depending on the plan that you choose, 
some of these plans come with setup fees which you have to pay before you get to use their platform so these are the differences between paystack and flutterwave when it comes to their fees or their charges now to the big question which should i choose for my business well it depends on your business needs paystack is fantastic for local markets while flutterwave is your global passport choosing between the two is all about your business goals and your target audience so there you go folks i hope this video helps you decide on which payment gateway to go for if you're using any of these platforms for your business i'd like to know in the comment section how it's going for you so far and also if you found the video useful please don't forget to like the video and also subscribe to the channel at the end of this video i'll put up two videos here which shows you how you can integrate both paystack and flutterwave on your website thank you very much for joining and i hope to see you in the next video